Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. It's the fourth Friday in March. It's a beautiful spring day. I am Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, and I'm here with my guests Anna Aberly and Rachel West of Aberly West Design and Marketing. Thank you for being here with us today. Really excited to hear about your graphic design company and web design company. Anna and Rachel are partners with degrees in graphic design and multimedia technologies. They're both passionate about making an impact on brands and businesses through graphic design and online media presence. And I want to jump right into it like we do with all our guests is tell us about your business and how you got started. Why did you get started in this business? Mm, Aberly West is a full service graphic design and marketing company. Um, we specialize in the graphic design aspect, um, but we can put it on any form of marketing that you may, may need as far as um, websites, social media, branding, um, promotional products, any form of print. Um, we um, Anna and I got into business together because um, we realized that we had very similar backgrounds and mm -hmm. that our design, design styles are different and unique okay. and so we wanted to offer that to our clients and um, have them have a choice in the way that they want um, their marketing materials designed and help them pave the path to, to that direction. Okay, great. Well, that that was unique. Uh, something new to me is that you guys have different graphic design styles. Because I know you guys, we've, we've talked a few times before. But tell me a little bit about your styles and how the difference in those styles complement each other and how that helps your clients. Well, I find that I like clean lines. I, okay. I'm very like, you're not coming out of my box. <laughs> 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 Where uh, Rachel kind of tends to push me to be like, okay, let's come out of the box a little bit. So that way we can show an amazing design. So, and then I'll tell her, hey, can you like tone it down a bit? So mm -hmm. we are not so loud. So we kind of, we, ha we lean on each other, like mm -hmm. design wise, like, hey, can you do this? Hey, can you try this? So. In a way, you're not getting one design, you're getting professions of two amazing graph designers for one piece of work. So to me, that's a lot of value mm -hmm. to a client. It, it yeah. does, and how do your clients respond to that? Do they do they embrace that? Are they a little confused by it? How does, how does that go? I feel like they appreciate it because okay. it helps give them a direction because sometimes they come and they're lost and they're, they're like, I have no idea. Um, so giving them options helps them get a clearer understanding for themselves in which direction they want it to go. Well, and I think that's true. Uh, there are so many people who have such a great business idea, but they don't know a lot about branding. They don't know a lot about marketing. And they're, they're a little overwhelmed by the idea they have to come up with, well, what should my logo be? Sometimes even what should their business name be? I know I went through that over and over and over again, trying to choose a business name for my business. And the brand, the branding aspect of things can be really overwhelming for clients. I think you guys provide something really valuable because you, you do give them that uh, that let's help you with your branding. Let's not let's not just take you take the cl the client's vision of a logo and kind of make a clean version of it and then charge them a bunch of money. Let, talk about how you how you get to know your clients and how you help them develop the graphic aspects of their brand. So when they when a client comes to us and they ask us, can you design a logo for for us? A lot of people ask. Um, well, what am I supposed to put it on my logo? And then I asked mm -hmm. them, what was the vision of your business? Tell me what you are not telling me. Mm -hmm. What is the entire vision of it? So that way we can incorporate that into your logo because you are passionate about your logo, your business. So let us put that passion into your logo. And from there, the marketing kind of works itself out and, and then you like get business cards, flyers, and it just, the whole magic happens. So it's just, we need to see that passion first so we can incorporate that into your marketing. So you focus on passion. you focus on bringing the passion of the business owner the, uh, and, and, the, and the personality of the client into the graphic design and then let that filter through the rest of the brand yep. and marketing mm -hmm. very cool very cool so you come from very different backgrounds you come you have different design styles but what are some of the sources of inspiration what are some of your influences in the kinds of design work you do for your clients so my influence a lot came from when I was a kid I, I really enjoyed drawing 
and again I'm a, I'm the type of person I stayed within the lines of my drawing <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a mess <laughs> and then from there I was like oh what can I do what can I can I create myself and then I kind of was thrown into drawing and it, and it was my way of expressing myself mm -hmm. whether it was through cartoons whether it was through uh, making a, a small um, figure a happy face or uh, making anything it just was amazing to me and I just love that and um, I didn't I knew I didn't want to be an artist like physical drawing artists I can I only need enough to sketch out things and but then I like the digital aspect of it to be able to have something go from paper to computer to mm -hmm. a through a full-on 3d animation it's it's amazing to go from that to the finished product so I that's how I I just I that's how I my business drives me to do better because I'm like oh can you do this can you do that can you do this mm -hmm. it's just it's amazing to me I love it and Rachel what, you, what for me you? it came um, through high school and mm -hmm. taking Photoshop that's really what sparked mm -hmm. my interest and I have the creative mindset to, to come up with it like unlike her I'm not very talented at drawing so I can come up with the idea mm -hmm. I can create it I just can't draw it so <laughs> well, and, and that's as, where as, the as I've gotten to know both of you you're much more the traditional let me get a sheet of paper and a pencil we'll sketch it and you are the much more digitally minded uh, modern web design social media uh, part of the team as well right Right. right. Yeah, and then we kind of work together, and then there's things where I'm like, how about this? And she's like, I don't understand your sketch. Can you just <laughs> put it into a digital format? <laughs> okay, let me show it to you in digital. And then from there, she's like, ooh, how about this? Then she'll add to it. So it's it's fun. I, I, I really enjoy working with her because it's just, uh, she pushes me in ways that I wouldn't have pushed myself or wouldn't have decided to do it this way and then um, that's how we're able to distinguish our clients from one to the other like some uh, clients of mine want everything very neat mm -hmm. very neat <laughs> you can't go outside the lines mm -hmm. where Rachel's they're a little bit more more flexible so if she's having trouble with a client that likes things neat she'll send them to me and then okay. I'll help them <laughs> so that's cool yeah and uh, and and like any relationship, those partnerships have to, you have to find those ways to, to play to each other's strengths and work, work with each other where in the areas maybe you're not so strong. And what are some of the other things you've learned from, because this is your first business um, and you're doing it as a partnership. Besides those things, what have you learned from being partners in a business together? So what I have learned, it's a marriage. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I think I talked to Rachel when I talked to my husband. Um, I really, you, it's a lot of communication. You have mm -hmm. to be able to communicate what the issues are in the business, to be able to say, okay, we have this issue. How do we move past it? How do we grow from it? Mm -hmm. And to be able to lean on somebody um, like a spouse, to be able to lean on a business partner is very, very important because then she'll lean back onto you and then mm -hmm. vice versa. And then it makes like a great working environment. And there's not constant fighting if you're constantly communicating. Yeah, and it really works because um, what she's not strong at, I am and vice versa. And so that really is what makes us work. Awesome, that's so great. Um, tell me, tell us, tell our viewers uh, who are watching on the website and on Facebook Live, uh, tell us about your ideal clients. Who in the community is it that you're really trying to serve and how do you go about serving them? Um, we are looking to for business owners that are established, that are ready to take their branding to the next level. Um, they understand the importance and uh, maybe they're not marketing right now or maybe mm -hmm. um, they're confused about which way they need to be marketing to reach their audience. So we want to work with them and help them get to the next level. Okay. What's some of the advice uh, that you would give our viewers if they think, well, maybe I'm ready to take my brand to the next level? What are the things they should be thinking about before they come see you? So are they willing to put in the time to market? Because it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. That everything needs to be put into place for the marketing to work. And uh, 
So what are some of those things that needs to be put into place? So they need to have a clear vision of what they want. And if they don't have a clear vision, where are they wanting their company to go? Like what level are they at and where they want to be mm -hmm. moved up then? We can help them in that, whether it's, um, okay, well, you only went as far as getting a business card. How about mm -hmm. getting a rack card to give informa more information mm -hmm. on what exactly you do to people that may want to hire you? Mm -hmm. Or um, if you have a rack card, how is your website? Is your website updated? Is uh, are you willing to make those kind of updates? And if not, do you do you want to hire us? We can definitely educate okay. you on how to market properly. So, so it sounds like what I'm hearing is that if someone's thinking about starting a business or they got a business, and they think they need some help with graphic design uh, and their marketing. What they should be thinking about is who is it I'm trying to reach? What is my business about? First of all. Who am I trying to reach? And then how am I trying to reach them? Because the answers to all of those questions, you you need the answers to all those questions. You need to be, them to be clear and concise in the client's brain so that you can say, these are the marketing strategies we would recommend for you, the graphic visual marketing strategies we would mm -hmm. recommend for you. Very good. Well, this has been great. I want you to tell our viewers how they can reach you and, um, yeah, how they can reach you. Um, they can reach us through email at info at aberlywest.com. Um, they can call our office at 702-920-6215. And they can also visit our website at www.aberlywest.com. Okay. And are you guys on social media? Yes. We are. They can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn at Aberly West. Okay. Yeah, it's all the same. At Aberly West. All right. Well, very good. Well, it's, it's always fortunate when you can have your, your all your social media handles all matched up together. It gets harder <laughs> and harder to do that nowadays. But very important, if you're going to be in that digital social media space, your graphic design is not going to be any help to you if nobody can find you because you've got all different social media handles. So uh, try to get them as close together as possible. I know it's difficult sometimes. All right. Well, thank you for watching our segment. Thank you for being our guest. We're going to have thank you guys you, sit right here because we're to come right back. We're going to bring Casey back in and we're going to go into our panel discussion. We're going to talk a little bit more about the ideas of visual branding, visual marketing, digital marketing, and the themes that go along with that. So I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. This is Geeks Are Sexy. Keep it right here. We'll be right back.